let's just zoom it up a little bit wow I can't believe what I'm looking at on the screen there I've literally just got goosebumps all up my arms that is unbelievable one second it's not a very long amount of time when you think about it you or I we can't do very much in a second but light that's another story in that same single second light could travel all the way around the earth seven and a half times in just a little over a second it could go all the way from here to the moon it is fast 186,000 miles per second fast to be precise just think about that for a moment 186,000 miles every single second that passes think now how far it goes in a minute an hour a day a week a month a year a light year itself is a staggering distance to even try and comprehend it's the amount of distance that light will travel in a vacuum in one year it will travel in fact about six trillion miles in that one year which is just well if you're anything like me it's just too much to grasp by that size the numbers start to lose all meaning to try and humanize that distance and bring it back to something we can maybe understand somewhat even though it's still too hard to grasp to travel one light year in the space shuttle discovery at full thrust traveling five miles per second would take you 37,200 years. I want to do something special tonight. I want to take a photograph of the most distant object I've ever, ever shot. The object's name is ARP 148 and it's the result of a titanic collision between two galaxies. And yet, even for such a dramatic, incredible event, there are only nine images on the entirety of Astrobin that have been taken off this image. Three of them are from the Hubble Space Telescope, leaving only six amateur images on there. I'd like to be number seven. So how far away is ARP 148 exactly? Well, it's certainly not one light year, or even a thousand, or even a million light years away. It's actually located at a massive 500 million light years away from us right now. Now this probably goes without saying, but this isn't going to be my prettiest or most eye-catching shot. But to me, I already feel that it's going to be my most special. Now honestly, going into this one, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if it's going to be a doable target. But I do know that I'm going to give it my absolute best effort and we'll see what we can do. My name is Luke, welcome to my channel and without further ado, let's get this capture underway. Let's just zoom it up a little bit. Wow. I can't believe what I'm looking at on the screen there. I've literally just got goosebumps all up my arms. That is unbelievable. Why is it that this little smudge of a distant galaxy is making my hair stand on end? I just can't believe that light has just traveled 500 million light years only to finish that incredible journey by landing on my camera's sensor and being registered as this. That's absolutely incredible. This is what this hobby is all about. We're a little above an hour on now from when last we spoke and the scope has formed a Meridian Flip. It's refocused, replate solved 
and it's once again underway taking these 600 second exposures which I'm using to make this capture tonight and I have to say the more that I look at this faint little smudge on the screen the more that it sets my imagination running wild like nothing I've ever shot has done before. Out of all the targets that you can take photographs of, most of the really conventionally beautiful ones admittedly are nebula, but there are some incredible galaxies you can shoot and it really is galaxies that light my fire. I love to think about what could potentially be out there living among them, just like us, maybe even looking back and taking photos of our very own Milky Way. But this one in particular, I think maybe due to the distance, has uh, really captivated me tonight. And I have to think, we're viewing this thing now from a third person perspective, of course, uh, as it was 500 million years ago, which is an amazing thought in itself that we're looking across time like that. That's incredible, no doubt about it. But can you imagine for a moment, just like how maybe we take a photograph of the Milky Way here from home and we're looking out across the galactic plane and it's an amazing sight. It's immediately memorable for anybody who's seen it. But can you imagine? what the night sky must have looked like for someone out there, maybe living in the Goldilocks zone of one of those two galaxies involved in this insane collision. What must that have looked like? That would have been a lifetime's worth of memories in just a moment, no doubt. Rather than kind of leaving it until three or four in the morning when uh, my mind's already slowed down past the point of no return, and I can't make as much sense as sometimes I'd like to. Uh, I have trouble with that at the best of times. I think I'll wrap things up now instead and just say I'm so grateful that I got to share tonight with you all because I think for me at least it's been one of the single best sessions in this hobby that I have ever ever had and uh, I really am really am grateful that I got to share it with you guys. So uh, thank you all so much for coming along and watching and giving all the support that you do indeed in all the ways that you show it. I can't say how thankful I am. And um, it's pretty chilly out here now, so I think I'm gonna wrap things up, uh, head off inside and warm up, and gaze at that little blob on the screen once more, because it really has just captivated me. And I think that's about everything for now. And uh, I just wanna say thank you again, and until next time, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and clear skies.